What's up, what's up? It's the Fly Roadside guy checking in one time for the one. You know how we do. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check it. Um, I'm going to just make this quick video about um, some unwritten rules when it comes to transporting trucks. If anybody's still thinking about doing drive away, as y'all know, I was, was in the transporting business for a while. And I still got a little information to put out there if anybody's interested in doing drive away and also saving money. Because a lot of people that's into it, they want to know, like, as far as do you have to pay for your own fuel, things of that nature, which you do. And then also, um, you know, like, where are you going to sleep at? Because that's going to be part of your expenses when it comes to uh, being over the road. If you're going to be transporting trucks over the road. Okay. So um, I say all that to say. When I went to my orientation. And I started out as a uh, transporter. You know, you got to learn to map it out and figure out where you're going to sleep and, you know, make your stops at. Well, if you're over the road, right, and no matter what you're in, hopefully you can find a spot to rest up at. Whether it be a truck stop, whether it be a hotel, gas station, you know, wherever you're going to park your truck at. But then, you got to ask yourself, where you going to sleep? Because as a transporter, technically, you ain't supposed to be sleeping in the trucks. I mean, the customer's going to want the trucks brand new you know, no damage and so forth. But, when you pay for that hotel, you know, whether you get an advance from the uh, drive away company or not, I mean, it's still your expense that you're gonna have to uh, pretty much eat. Now, whether you write that expense off, that's up to you. But when it comes to an unwritten rule, when it comes to sleeping in the trucks or to not sleep in the trucks, you gotta make that decision for yourself. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? I ain't paid for a hotel not one time. And the only time I stayed in the hotel was when the damn bus broke down on me. You know what I'm saying? And um, that company compensated and got me a hotel. But, you know, when I was over the road transporting trucks, you know, I definitely made some pit stops, you know, but I ain't never paid for a hotel, motel, Airbnb, none of that. But like I say, you can't sleep in the trucks. You're not supposed to. But, you know, I ain't telling y'all what to do. I'm just telling you the protocol as far as the customer's going to want that truck clean, no damage so you know some buses got floors some trucks got back seats you know but like I said I'm not telling you to sleep in the truck you gotta make that decision for yourself because technically the customer don't want you sleeping in the trucks so as far as I'm concerned I can't tell you what to do and what not to do I'm just telling you I ain't Never paid for no hotel, motel, or Airbnb. I'm keeping that money in my pocket. So, you know, you can draw your own conclusion. But like I say, I'm going to make space to get my Z's. You feel? But that's it for the day when it comes to this um, transporter drive away information. I know it's been a minute since I kind of tapped into that part of um, discussions here and there. I haven't been doing that as much because I'm making this money in a dump truck, baby. But either way, if you want some information, leave a comment, share the video, subscribe, hit the like button. This is the Fly Roadside Guy, checking in one time for the one. We out, sure.